All right, hello everyone, this is Mr. Crozier. I wanted to help you with uh, some of these practice B problems here. They're solving um, exponential equations. So I'm gonna do some of them down here and get you started on them. Problems one through nine down here. All right, problem number one, and the way we set this up is we, we, we're gonna do an approved table where we have statements on the left and reasons on the right, and we're just gonna take this equation and solve it. And the problem is the variables in the exponent, so we have to get the exponent down. All right, and these bases line up, so we can we have this rule that says if a to the m equals a to the n, then then the exponents are the same, and that's what we have three three. So we can drop these down, and now we can deal with just this equation. And now it's a regular beginning year algebra problem. We can minus 5x from both sides, and we have 3x equals negative 6. That's called the subtraction property of equality. On all of these proofs, what you want to do is write down what you are doing over here. We were given a problem. Then we use this rule. Then we use subtraction. And now what are we going to do? Divide both sides by 3. x is negative 2. Um, division property of equality. You'll have to do this next year in geometry, so it's good practice now. All right, so, so we have it solved. We figured out what, ne what x is. You can plug that back in there, verify it's true. If you plug in negative 2 here, you get negative 16 on this side. Plug in negative 2 here, you get negative 16 on this side. Everything's equal. All right, on problem number 2. Um, the problem we have here is we have different bases, 4s and 2s, so we can't use this rule. Well, what we do is we rewrite the base. So we rewrite... 4 as 2 to the second power because 4 is 2 to the second power. So now I have 2 to the second equals 2 5x plus 3. Now we have both 2s, but I'm still dealing with this exponent here. So let's get rid of this exponent with power to power, which means I multiply this. So we have 2 to the 2x equals 2 5x plus 3. Now what do I have? same basis. So I can use this rule right here. It's called, or let's just go ahead and write it out, if a to the m is equal to a to the n, then the exponents are equal. All right, so we have 2x is equal to 5x plus 3. Subtract 5 away from this side, I have negative 3x is equal to 3. Subtraction property of equality divide by negative 3, x is negative 1. Um, let's see here, what do we have? That's division, division property of equality. And plug that back in again. 4 to the negative 1 is 1 fourth. Let me write that up there, there's 1 fourth. And if I plug a negative 1 over here, that would be a negative 5 plus 2 would be 2 to the negative 2, and 2 to the negative 2 is, again, 1 fourth, so everything checks out. Always want to check them if you can. All right, on the same one down here, number three, same thing. We don't have bases. Well, I can't change a four and an eight into each other, but they're both powers of two. Two to the second is four, and two to the third is eight. So on the left, I'm going to rewrite it as two to the third, and on the right, I'm going to leave it as two to the second. Rewrite rewrite bases. All right, what can I do here? Well, I can multiply this. This is 2 to the 15x, and this is 2 to the 8x plus 14. Don't forget that if you distribute, you multiply everything here. So what did we do here? We did the power to power again. And now we're at the point where we have the same bases. And we're going to use this rule, this, this if-then statement every single time. If we have this setup, then they are equal. So 15x is equal to, whoops, there's an x in there, uh, plus 14. I'll let you solve it from there. Minus, minus 8 from both sides and divide. On the other side, let's see here, we have... Two fractions, this is problem nine, the last one. And, th and they look very similar, right? Um, this one looks like I could square it into that one. So I'm going to leave this one alone. 
Let's leave this as five fourths. Let's not touch that one. But let's take four sixteen over twenty four and let's say it's four fifths squared. Four fifths squared would give me sixteen over twenty five, which is what I need. But wait a minute. What if I flip this? What if I flip it and make it five fourths to the negative two? That would also flip it back there because then I square this one and this one and I get 25 over 16 but make it negative and it gets back here. So let's use this, this guy over here. And why did I use that one? Because now we well, have to put negative 2 in, in another parentheses, negative 4x. Now I have 5 fourths left alone. 5 fourths to the second power would be 25 over 16 and negative gets me back to here. So I've rewritten this one in this format. Um, rewrite bases. And that's probably as tricky as they get here. With the fractions and negatives, it is difficult. Uh, let's leave this one alone. Uh, let's use power to power and clean this up over here. So we have 5 fourths. Multiply that negative times negative is positive. Um, what did I just do there? Power to power. And same base. Drop the bases, bring down the exponents. Um, that, that's the same rule here, this if-then statement. If, then, same basis, same exponents. And then you can finish both of those and solve those just like a regular algebra problem. All right, again, the key is to get the basis the same. Get the basis the same so you can use this rule right here. This rule appears in all the problems. Every problem has this rule in it. All right.